Hi, I'm Eric Kuster with the Propane Education and Research Council, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about forklift cylinder safety. Propane forklifts are used all over the country every day for material handling needs. But there's a few things to keep in mind when you're working with propane cylinders. When storing forklift cylinders, there are NFPA 58 regulations that must be followed. Outside LP storage areas must be away from an opening into a building, like a door, a window, or a vent. And in a location that minimizes exposure to physical damage, tampering, or excessive heat rises. Storage areas must have a fire extinguisher having a minimum capacity of 18 pounds dry chemical with a BC rating. NFPA 58 does allow inside storage of LP cylinders in buildings that are not frequented by the public. The maximum quantity that's allowed in one storage area is 300 pounds. And if there's more than one storage area, they must be separated by at least 300 feet. Keep in mind that storage areas should never be located near exits or in areas used to reach an exit. OSHA requires that only properly trained personnel operate forklifts. Some propane specific things to keep in mind about forklifts are that first, you want to wear personal protective equipment when you're changing cylinders. Contact with liquid propane can damage the eyes and cause frostbite on the skin. So wear safety glasses and proper protective gloves. Next, inspect the replacement tank before installing it. Look for leaks, dents, gouges, or heavy rust. Also, check the condition of the O-ring, the forklift hose, and the fittings for signs of damage. Next, make sure you position the tank on the locating pin. This ensures that the pressure relief valve is in the vapor space and that the fuel gauge will read correctly. Next, make sure that the tank valve is turned off before making a connection. If the hose coupler is screwed on with an open tank valve, it could spray propane on you. Lastly, check for leaks. Always open valves slowly, being alert for leaks. White frost, rushing noises, or propane odor are all signs that you have a leak. If you suspect a leak, shut the tank valve off and ventilate the area, then get a different tank to install. Stay safe out there.